So throughout this section, we're going to start to take a look at some of the things that I mentioned in the previous lesson when we were talking about the golden rules of spreadsheet design. And the first one I'm going to talk to you about is how to use cell styles in your workbooks to help improve readability. And I always find that cell style seems to be one of those things that I don't see a lot of people using, but can be extremely helpful, particularly if you're going to be sharing your workbook with a lot of other people. Cell styles effectively tell people what type of cell they're using. So what exactly do I mean by that? Well, I have my spreadsheet just here. We have some basic data on it, just some invoice numbers for some clients. I have an amount column. I have the amount of VAT. So VAT is 20% of the amount. And then I have a simple sum calculation in column F to work out the total of that invoice. Now, if this is a worksheet that I'm sharing with other people in my team, maybe other people are going to be adding more invoices onto the bottom of this. And I want to make it super clear to everybody who's using this spreadsheet, which cells they can type into, which cells contain formulas, which cells are headings, so on and so forth. And I can do that by using color in the form of cell styles. So if we go up to the home tab, we have a cell styles drop down, and we have numerous different default cell styles that we can apply to different cells in our worksheet. Now it's worth noting that the colors that you see here, particularly these theme cell styles at the bottom, are all based on the theme that you currently have in use in Excel. So I'm using the standard office theme, and this is the color palette that comes with this theme. And all of the cell styles are divided down into different categories. And all this really is, is formatting. So you'll see as I hover over some of these, you can just see behind where I have this drop down, the cell is changing depending on which one of these I've selected. And of course, if you don't like the colors or the format of these, or you have a very specific color palette that you need to use at your organization, all of these can be modified and updated to reflect your own colors. For example, if I didn't like the way that this calculation cell style looked, I could right click, I can go into modify and I can change the format of that particular cell style. So you can change these. Now we're not going to do that right now. I just want to show you how in general I would use these in this type of worksheet. So if I take a look at my data, I want to let people know which cells they need to input information into. And that is going to be all of these cells just here. So other people will need to enter in the invoice number, the date, the client and the amount. But VAT and total are calculated using formulas. So I want to denote these cells just here as input cells. So we're going to select them, go up to cell styles and I'm going to choose this one just here input. Now it might be that you definitely do want to go in and change this formatting. A lot of people don't necessarily like this orange background fill with this blue writing. So if you don't like it, just remember you can change that. Now these other two columns contain formulas or calculations. So I'm going to select this group of cells and I'm going to let people know that these are calculation cells. So simply by the use of cell styles, it's fairly obvious to see which ones are input and which ones are calculations. Now this VAT rate over here, I'm going to let people input whatever they need to input into here because that might change. So I'm going to denote that as an input cell as well. And I have a title at the top. So maybe I want to select these cells and denote that as a heading too. And I could carry on going. I can even create my own new cell styles from here as well. So if you want to create your own, you can definitely do that also. And then what I would generally tend to do is create a welcome sheet at the beginning, which has a legend on it that explains what these cell styles are. So I might put something like input cell. Let's just add two of these that we're using. And I might put something like input values into these cells and then I might have calculation cells just so it's super clear for anybody looking at this worksheet. So that is basically how you use cell styles. It's simply formatting which lets other people know what type of data goes into the worksheet and where they should be typing. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. 
To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.